One door closes, another one opens. Hey everybody, this is Bob Cargill. It is Sunday, December 11, 2016, and I'm going to talk to you just for a few minutes about the concept of taking advantage of the opportunities that are presented to us in life. And maybe more importantly, creating those opportunities ourselves. When I was a kid, I loved sports. I still do. But when I was a kid, I mean, I dreamed of being a pro athlete when I grew up. I played lots of sports. Baseball, football, hockey, basketball, you name it. If there's a sport you can name, I probably played it. But let's concentrate on the four biggies. Baseball, I played up until Little League. Baseball, I was a pitcher. And I was a pretty good pitcher. I had great control. I was pretty fast. I was fast on the base paths, too, when I would get on base a lot. I was a scrapper. Get some hits, get some walks. Made the all-star team one year. Our team won the, quote, world championship in Franklin. That was cool. That was exciting. But I didn't go beyond Little League Baseball. I stopped there. That was the end of my baseball career. Hockey, I never played on a team, per se, but I competitively, but I played a ton of pond hockey. I loved hockey. I looked up to Bobby Orr as the greatest athlete of all time in my mind. He was my hero. I wanted to be like Bobby Orr. Didn't matter what sport I ended up playing in my dreams as a pro athlete, but I wanted to be like Bobby Orr. But you know, I never played on a team. I never played on a school hockey team. I just played on pond hockey. So that was that for hockey. Football, I played seventh grade, eighth grade, and freshman year on the teams. And I always wanted to be a running back, but I never became a running back. Just I might have got thrown in towards the end of the game a few times, a few plays as a running back. But mostly I was an offensive guard. And I started as an offensive guard my freshman year. I was very proud of that. But I didn't go beyond freshman football. Basketball was probably the sport I played the most and it was probably my best sport, but I never went beyond JV basketball in high school. I played seventh grade, eighth grade, ninth grade, JV. Mostly I came off the bench. I always wanted to break into the starting lineup, never did, but I'd come off the bench, score a few points here and there, play a few minutes here and there, but I didn't go beyond JV. Running, the sport I haven't mentioned yet, the sport that really became my sport, and to this day, it is still my sport. I was on the freshman spring track team and the sophomore spring track team, and then junior and senior year, it was cross country, winter track, spring track. Cross country, winter track, spring track. Thank you, Coach Career, a great coach, inspirational, motivational, introduced me to the sport of running. I loved running. I ran the mile and the two mile and did very well. And to this day, I'm still running. I'm president of the Greater Framingham Running Club. I run marathons, half marathons. I've run Falmouth like 15 times, uh, Mount Washington three times, the Boston Marathon 12 times. I love running. And the point I'm trying to make here is one door closes. I didn't break into the starting lineup in basketball. Another door opens, and that was running for me. All those sports, football, hockey, baseball, basketball, the four major sports, the door closed for me for one reason or another. But the door that opened was running. And running to this day is something I do. Running to this day is something I love. Running to this day is something that benefits me in so many ways. Let's look at life in general. There are so many challenges in our lives, so many starting lineups we don't make, so many, for some reason or other, situations that don't work out in our favor. We're not on the starting lineup. We don't score the points. We don't get the goal. We don't score, get the ball and run in and score the, run in to the end zone and score the touchdown. Okay, it happens. There are obstacles, challenges, setbacks in life. We try something else. It's important when you fall down to get back up, to get back up more times than you fall down. Have many irons in the fire. 
Don't just take advantage of opportunities, create opportunities in our personal lives, in our professional lives, on the job, at home, with our friends, with our families, with our coworkers. Understand that not everything is going to work out. Understand that it is important to keep swimming at, to keep running one step at a time, whatever it is, pushing towards the goal line, reaching for the brass ring, going for it, keep plugging away. One door closes, another one opens. That's the cycle most of us, in fact, I think all of us lead in life, okay? Go for the door that's opening when the door closes behind you. Open that other door. Go for it. This is Bob Cargill coming to you from Haskell Field in Sudbury on Sunday, December 11, 2016. Thanks for watching.